I don't want pink eye. Thank you very much. Uh. and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Kirielle and today we are going through my most used products of 2018 I'm gonna tell you the things that I absolutely loved and I couldn't stop using without further ado let's get into it because I have quite a lot of products next to me and I have a feeling this is gonna be a really long video <laughs> so I'm gonna go through it kind of as I do my makeup routine so starting off with primer there's kind of three things that stand out for me that are in different kind of categories one being the Smashbox primerizer which this is a higher end primer I really like this on days where I just feel like my skin needs that extra boost of moisturization and I really want to hydrate my skin but also get it tacky and ready for makeup this is a really good base to start off with and also feels really fresh and cooling on the skin when you've just woken up it's really nice next is a primer I actually did a first impression on which is the unicorn primer drops beauty elixir by Barry M I am still in love with this stuff it is so good especially for the price to kind of take on the unicorn is it unicorn drops or unicorn elixir unicorn essence from Fasali one thing this really smells good like really good like fruity but it also hydrates the skin and leaves a tacky base as well it's a lot tackier than the primerizer and it doesn't so much absorb into the skin it doesn't sit on the skin With the primerizer it really melts away into the skin but this as a product you can kind of feel it there working in a sense but it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that i really love this i have really been loving these drops by l'oreal they're the glow mon amour i probably butchered that i'm so sorry french people and this is in the shade 01 sparkling love it's just this pretty champagne almost beige kind of highlighter drops but i've been loving using these underneath my foundation so that's why i put them in this category the only thing that i hate about this is the packaging it just it's just really bad there should be more of like a stopper on the top because it kind of gets everywhere but apart from that the actual product is really good and it works for my skin tone so pretty and glowy when you feel it it does kind of feel a little bit greasy but I feel like it kind of dries down and underneath my foundation I've never had any problems it just adds a nice dew to the skin when you put it on the high points and yeah I've just really been loving this especially under matte foundations which I'm gonna roll on to three foundations kind of stick out to me throughout the year of 2018 and they're all affordable so that's great. First one being one that I love throughout the end of the year and that is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation and this is just a full coverage matte foundation that I did do a review on and that I wasn't actually keen on but I continued to try it with different products and different primers and things and I ended up really liking this especially when I want that true matte Base. really long lasting it's a really good foundation and it's so affordable so if you want to try it out I definitely recommend it another thing from makeup revolution finish of this is gorgeous this is the revolution pro foundation drops oh my gosh they are so so nice on the skin even on my oily skin I still find that it lasts a really long time on me finish wise it smooths up the skin and gives you a natural glow it wears really well as well I bought a backup bottle that's when you know it's a good foundation and it's like seven pounds it's really affordable as well also another thing to note makeup revolution usually have a very inclusive range of shades they are one of the first kind of drugstore brands that really blew up with their shade range obviously they had their conceal and define concealer which i wasn't a particular fan of i'm still not really <laughs> i'm just being honest but the shades you cannot fault them for that and one thing i love about makeup revolution is they're always looking to improve they're always taking in feedback Back. and I just love that I mean who doesn't love a brand that does that I don't know they just seem like such a good brand generally and for them to be affordable is even better the other foundation that I really really loved around summertime was the ordinary serum foundation it's a very light coverage foundation however it just evens out the skin really really nicely and it gives a nice natural finish slightly dewy this doesn't last that long on me but i just really love the finish to so sacrifice the longevity again so affordable it's like 5.95 again with the ordinary they have a very good shade range they have like a plethora of undertones they've got yellow peach neutral pink they've got silver even like they're very good with their shade range don't get this confused with the full coverage one because i really really didn't like that that one really did not work on my oily skin at all it separated 
and it looked horrible. So the serum one is the one that I really liked. Concealer. So these are the two that have stood out for me that I've been constantly using throughout 2018 and continuing to use. I mix these two together. I have tried them on their own as individuals, but it's more of a color matching for me. First one is by Jouer, and it's the Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. I have the shade Lace, which I believe is the lightest yellow toned concealer. I think there are a few shades lighter, but the pink tone, which I I don't want pink eye, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't want literally give me a pink eye, but you know what I mean. It's like a almost whipped feeling concealer. It's thick but not heavy and it covers everything really nicely and blends out so well into the skin. And yeah, I don't know why I just swatched concealer because you, you can't see it on my hands. <laughs> the only downfall with this is I don't feel it's light enough for me. So that is why I use this other concealer with it. And that is the Barry M All Night Long Concealer in the shade 1 Milk. If you are very fair, then you can use this. This is so affordable. I think it's like maybe £4. And I know M -M 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 Mitchell uses it on Instagram, so you know it's good then. <laughs> the only thing I'll say about this is it's a very matte concealer and the dry down is pretty quick. So if you have like dry under eyes or anything like that or dry skin, you may not like this. So when I mix these two together, I do one eye at a time just to make sure. And I've learned that the hard way, so <laughs> an honorable mention would be shape tape, but everyone loves that. I don't wanna beat a dead horse. So we're gonna move swiftly on. Something that's kind of like in the same vein as concealer is my eye base, which is the P. Louise eye base. This stuff is amazing. If you want pigmented eyeshadows that blend really easily, that stay on your eyelids, and that is affordable, look no further than this little beauty by here. Completely worth the hype that everyone gives it. For bronzer, I have two favorites. One is more high-end and one is more drugstore affordable. The high one is by Jouer. It's the light to medium bronzing duo and it looks like this. It's really pretty packaging and it's got two shades in here. You tap in and you don't get a lot of product, but that's good because you can really build it on the skin. It's a nice natural finish. Hands down, one of my favorites and they don't even look like they've been touched, but I've definitely used them. And the affordable one, literally this is pretty much my like go-to bronzer. I love the Jouer one, but this one, this one's just something else. I don't know why. This one was a recommendation by Tati Washbrook. She clearly knows what she's doing. This bronzer is by BH Cosmetics and it's the Brilliance Bronzer in Golden Gal, which I believe is the lighter shade. And it's just so freaking good. This is so blendable. You can go in with a heavy hand with this, put it on your skin and you're like, ooh, that's a little bit too much, but then you can blend it. It's so magical. I don't know what they put in this stuff. It's got a slight sheen to it. So again, it gives you that lifelike appearance. One of my favorite things that I found in 2018 hands down. I'm really not a blush person, but I did have two kind of that I would always go towards to, and they're pretty similar, but the price difference is not similar at all. By Benefit, this is actually just like a little sample that I had in like a Christmas gift or something. So this is the Rockateur, I never say this right, Rockateur, Rockateur blush by Benefit, and it's just kind of like a muted peachy pink kind of color with mauve undertones, neutral everyday kind of blush with a slight sheen to it. So that one is the high-end one. And the other one, Rimmel London Last In Finish Soft Color Blush in 20 Pink Rose. Again, they look so freaking similar. Let me just, okay, the Rockateur is like slightly darker, but they are like exactly the same tone. Like maybe Rockateur has a bit more of a corally undertone, but anyway, again, it's just a peachy, rosy, flattering everyday color. And I think this was like three pounds or something like that, ridiculous, like really cheap, but it's really good, long lasting. When I have like a look where I don't know what to wear, I'll always go to either one of those. Highlight. <laughs> so you guys probably know this one already if you've watched a few of my videos recently. Doll Light by Doll Beauty. Oh my stuff is magical. So this is like a diamond by Doll Beauty and as you can see it is being well loved. It is just the perfect highlight for me. It's just so pretty. It's like champagne. Just the formula in general. It's so smooth on the skin and it's not glittery. It's just like a beam of light that blends in so well to the skin. Honestly this has been one of my favorite finds ever in makeup. Another one that I've had for ages and is kind of beat up because the pan came out of the actual packaging, but it is Ofra highlights. I've got this one here. This is the Nikki Tutorials Everglow highlighter, but this white by here, I kind of mix it in with the champagne-y color as well. There is no beat in Ofra's highlight formula over here. Sorry, my light's really aren't doing it justice. 
but the amount of pigment that goes into these shades is insane and then the payoff that they give is just it's just blinding like so 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 blinding they're really buttery and really smooth like I've never felt another highlight like these. They almost feel like they could be cream, they're that smooth of powders. I also have two highlight palettes that stand out for me that I went to so much in 2018. The first one being the Makeup Revolution collaboration with Soph Does Nails here on YouTube. I've used this so much, I've actually hit pan on one of the colours. This is so amazing. For £8, you get so many colours. If you want something that's creamy, goes on the skin really nicely, really smooth texture-wise, then this is such a good palette. The second highlight in palette is by Revlon and I never hear anyone talk about Revlon on YouTube at all. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Sunlit Dream Highlight Palette. This gold colour here is the main one that I'd use. It does not look like anything, okay? When you put it on the skin, it just melts like no other highlight I've ever tried. You really can't tell where this highlight starts and ends on the skin. Almost looks natural, it's still blinding. It's very confusing. <laughs> if you look through some of my videos, you'll see this and it looks so pretty on the skin. I forgot to mention this with the bronzers, but I also have my contour palette by Too Faced. I always go for this for contour. This is the Coco Contour Chisel to Perfection palette by Too Faced and literally I only ever really use the medium shade here. It's just a perfect kind of cool tone colour for me personally. Let's do eyeshadow palettes. So I have again two kind of categories. So I have an affordable and a high end. The affordable one is actually by Wet n Wild. It's the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air palette which is supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette I believe. Obviously not official but it looks like it. These eyeshadows blew me away when I tried them on in a video. They are so blendable, so pigmented, like they just... I was like what? This whole palette was about £4 and just honestly the pigment on them, look at that. Obviously I've highlight everywhere but I'm just gonna go over top. Actually that's just one swipe. They are so buttery in feel, they are just so good. The only dud in this whole palette is kind of like the shimmer. It doesn't really show up that much, it's just a bit meh. But apart from that, all of the mattes in here are incredible. Whenever I was traveling and I had to take a small amount of makeup, I would just throw this in because it's very small, it's very compact, it's got a lot of transitions colours in there but a little pop of colour if I really want to add some. This is just such a good, good palette, not even for the price, just in general, as a product, so freaking good. It's on Beauty Bay. Next palette I mentioned in a favourites, this is still one of my favourites but it's a controversial product. Well, the product isn't controversial, but the person behind it is, and it is the Laura Lee Nudie Patootie palette. I just, I can't lie, I really love the colours in here. They're really user friendly, they're really easy to blend. I can create a neutral, I can do a pop of colour. The metallics in here are so, so good. And they just shine on the lid, so pretty, and the cohesion of the palette is really good. I really like it. It was a favourite of 2018, and I am gonna still continue to use it. Haven't watched her since everything came out. I don't need that negativity in my life. <laughs> Colourful palettes. These are both kind of affordable and they're both gross looking. I use these for more Instagram. Again, these look gross because I like to mix things on the palette themselves just because it's just easier for me. This is the Revolution Pro Regeneration Trends Mischief Mattes palette. This just has a lot of colours in it. It was really affordable. I think it was like £10 for all these. The pigment's really good on them and you get a good blend. You can't go wrong with it. Cheap pigmented palette, especially when it comes to colours. I've used this so much on my Instagram, it's ridiculous. I really appreciate this palette and make a revolution bringing out something that's affordable, that people can use to experiment with and to bring more colour. There are younger people on Instagram who are aspiring makeup artists and I feel like stuff like this is important to have in the makeup industry. Definitely one of my most used products of 2018, 100%. Another colourful palette, which I know as soon as I open it's gonna be gross. <laughs> the mix-in, oh my gosh, okay. So this is the Morphe 12P palette. I think it's the Picasso palette officially. This is just some bright neons in here that again I use for Instagram a lot. These colours again really good, really pigmented and blendable. If you are interested my Instagram is just at Lara, same as it is on YouTube. Next up is eyeliners. I have a problem where my eyes are quite watery and I always, always, without fail will get a collection in my in a corner of eyeliner. However, I have found the answer to that, and that is the Revolution Pro Supreme Pigment Gel Eyeliner. These 
do not budge. Used these, mainly the brown and the nude, like so much throughout 2018. Mascara, again, I've got a high and low end. The low end is the Collection Lash Surge. This is in black brown, so I use this on more of my like natural days. This is just so good. It's like volumizing and lengthening. It's got a, I think it's a natural brush wand, I believe. So it really fans out your lashes and makes them look really wispy and natural. The high-end one I've actually got a mini of and I do actually have another mini on the go. <laughs> this is the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. This has a different effect on my lashes. They're very black and very prominent with this mascara. So if that's what you like, then you'll probably like this one. If you want something a little bit more wispy, feminine, flirty, then you might like the collection one. But I really like this if you want standout lashes. It's really good. Brows, I have two brow pencils. Again, Revolution Pro, I really love Revolution. This is just the like micro brow pencil. It really stays on the skin really well. It's easy to use, quick, simple, really good to get those kind of individual brow hairs, but also you can just kind of quickly run it through. Also, I think it's like two to three pounds, something like that. And then the other one, which I was really surprised about is the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Brow Pencil. The actual product of this was really, really good. It was that perfect kind of consistency where it wasn't too creamy or too powdery. You could create those soft brow hairs. I'm really considering going to get it again. And I think it was about eight pounds, which is quite a lot for a tiny little pencil. Again, that's like the micro pencil, but it's a good product. Final thing for brows is Gimme Brow, which I tested last year and I fell in love with, but it's really good at kind of thickening the brow hairs and then keeping them in place. And I just really enjoy using it, as do a lot of the population, because it's a very popular product. <laughs> Lashes. These ones are pretty much the ones that I always went towards throughout 2018. It is the Doll Beauty Lashes. I've got two styles, one's Selena and one's Esmeralda. Esmeralda is actually what I'm wearing right now. They're really pretty and fluttery. They're just so good. The band's really good. They're not heavy on the eyes. Like I can't, I can't really feel these on my eyes at all. Doll Beauty has so many different varieties. They have the really kind of natural ones. They have the really, really thick ones. I kind of tend to go like in between and I tend to like the more wispy. They're really good. They're reusable, they're really good quality. Those are just my favorite styles that I've kind of chopped between uh, throughout 2018. Lips, uh, <laughs> pretty much all nude colors. So I don't have it. Uh, I think it's in one of my bags somewhere, but probably my favorite nude of 2018 was Mannequin by Jeffree Star. I feel like it really suits my skin tone. It's very flattering, just a basic ass nude. And that is definitely a prominent lip color that I used all the time throughout 2018. Also a prominent one which I use a lot on my channel is the Ofra collaboration with Nikki Tutorials in Nude Potion. Such a nice pinky nude, like oh my gosh, look at that. And I love the formula of the Ofra lippies. They're just like a whipped liquid lipstick. They're so comfortable. They're not transfer proof, but they're so comfortable on the lips that you kind of can set that aside. It smells so good, like it smells like vanilla. The other one that I really liked was the Dose of Colors Liquid Lip, and this is in the color Old Flame. And this is just a gorgeous burnt orange. I love the formula of this. Again, it is kind of on the whip side as well, but a little bit more liquidy than the Ofra. These are a little bit more long wearing than the Ofra ones. The final kind of formula that I was like blown away with is the Maybelline Superstay Ink. These are freaking bulletproof. <laughs> This is in the color 70 Amazonian. Dries down to kind of like a gingerbready color. I really like this. I wore this in one of my videos. It's just like stuck into your lips throughout the whole day. Very comfortable as well. You'd think a lipstick that stays on for this long would be uncomfortable, but it's really not. I think they're $9.99, so they're not too expensive. I've got two bullet lipsticks. One is very affordable, and this is by Wet n Wild, actually. Really pretty color, very creamy, very rich, and this is shade of you. This is Sandstorm and it's a matte liquid lipstick by Wet n Wild. Very moisturizing on the lips, like you don't know you're wearing a matte lipstick when you put this on. I had a period of time through 2018 where I was literally just popping this in my purse and taking it everywhere with me, so I've really been loving this one. And finally, I think I got this for Christmas in 2017, so I've been using it throughout the whole year of 2018. It is MAC Russian Red. It's a deep blue toned base red. It's very, very pretty. It's kind of like the color of my top actually. Matte and long lasting. I don't really have to say a lot about MAC lipsticks, 
but Russian Red, definitely one of my favourites and one of my most used products of 2018. Final category is glitter. I have been finding myself going a little bit crazy over glitter recently and the easier the glitter is getting to apply, the more I am applying it. <laughs> so first is a high-end thing that I need to talk about. It is this Stila Magnificent Metals. I don't know where I'd be without these on my nights out, honestly. When I'm in a rush, because I always leave it too late to get ready, I can just put a little bit of smoke throughout the outer corner and then just pop this through and I've got a magical, glittery, smoky eye. This is probably my favorite shade. It is Kit and Karma. You can create the easiest cut crease with this, it's like my ride or die. One thing that I do have to say about these though is make sure that they are close up tight and they do actually click, because otherwise they can dry out and go a little bit crumbly like when I opened that then glitter kind of came out which is a sign that it's dried up. You do not want to be wasting those because they are 24 pound a pop. Another glitter that is just a loose glitter that I just really love the colour of and again these are things that I've just like used throughout 2018 a lot. This is the Smolder Radiant Glitter in Autumn. It's got like copper, rose gold and then champagne in here. And the way this particular glitter catches the light isn't like any others I've really tried. I feel like the glitter may be different sizes but only slight but by having that in there it just, I don't know, it just creates like a disco ball effect on your eye almost. I got this from Beauty Bay, um, I can't remember how much it was, I think it must have been under five pounds. And we're on the final thing guys, I feel like I've been here for ages. <laughs> This is another glitter which I friggin love and like I actually hit pan on this, I've used it so much. This is the Make a Revolution Glitter Paste in Power Hungry. It's just a paste of glitter. I would still suggest using a glitter glue. It can kind of flake off if you don't. So I do tend to use something like a glitter glue or a tacky base. This is again, very easy to use. Some days I would literally just put a little bit of a transition on, put an outer corner on and then put this over the lid and it was just so quick and easy. But this catches the light like no other. When I went out on Christmas time to see the light switch on and stuff, you could just see my eyes just glittering when I put this on. It's so pretty. And this is cheap as well. I think it was like four pounds. Is that it? <sighs> anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what my favorites were of the whole year. These are products that I really love and I continue to use. I hope you found something that maybe you want to try. Let me know in the comments what your favorite products were of 2018. Honestly, I really want to know because everyone is different and I'd love to know if there's any products that I really need to try. If you like this video and you want to see what my future favorites are going to be, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the little bell icon next to it so you get notified of when I upload. If you enjoy these kind of roundups and also find out what my favorite kind of products are then don't forget to leave a little thumbs up on the video and also it's like a little little shot of encouragement you know like you're doing good girl and now i am full of swatches and everything i'm going to love and leave you i hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and i hope you stick around for the next one till then bye guys <coughs> unicorn essence and i'm still i think it's a natural brushel brushel good night the <laughs> diet.